Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thanks for tuning in. This is my take on a pastel goth look. Let's begin. First off, I'm using a matte foundation all over my face and I'm using this flat top brush so that I can have a full coverage without too much work going on. Next, I'm just going to moisturize my lips and then prime my eyelids and also underneath so that the colors that I'm going to put in is going to last long and will not crease. Next, I will be setting my foundation with this awesome powder. Not like the foundation needed it, but with all this lighting and all the heat, it will help everything else to stay together. For my brows, first I am going to line the upper portion of my eyebrows and then the tail like so. And then I'll be using an eyeshadow to set the product and also attain the shape that I wanted for my brows. Majority of my eyeshadow in this look will be coming from this beautiful palette and my first color will be orange and I'm just making sure here that the shadow is high enough so the color is still there when I open my hooded eyelids. Then I'm taking this magenta colored eyeshadow and building the color slowly, slowly as I can possibly be and spreading it far but not too far enough from my eyes. Then I'm taking this light moss color and just sweeping it back and forth into the hollows of my eyes to make a slight and false crease, I guess. <laughs> then I'm taking this purple eyeshadow and apply it underneath my eyes like so, that's creating a slightly diagonal shape underneath and slightly heavier near my eyes and creating a gradient effect underneath. Now I'm taking this maroon colored eyeshadow plus a matte red eyeshadow and applying it on the outer corners of my eyes and it's like a transition from the purple to the orange. I'm just applying it slowly and carefully so that I will not go away from the shape that I am aiming to and then with this white eyeshadow base, I'm just applying it on my inner corners as well as my brow bone area. And with this matte eyeshadow, I will be setting the base as well as blending it inwards to make it look pretty and set and blended. Then I will be adding more pop in my inner corners using this beautiful eyeshadow using my finger because it works best with this kind of eyeshadow but the camera did not pick it up that well. So I'll proceed with the rest and I'm just applying this gel eyeliner roughly on my lash line. I'm not really particular of the shape so far and I will just be applying it underneath also thus creating a weird shape like so. I don't know really how to explain that but I'm just filling it right now to make it really bold. Here, I'm just lining my waterline with my favorite eye pencil and I'm going slowly but surely rather than going fast but tugging my eye area. Then, I'm just setting the gel eyeliner with my blackest and darkest eyeshadow and as well as in my upper eyelids, I'm going to add more of the darkness and slightly blend it. Then I'm just curling my eyelashes before I apply my favorite mascara prior to applying my false eyelashes. And because the foundation flattens almost everything on my face, I'll just bring it back and enhance it with contouring and highlighting. Applying only on my lower lips, I will use a lipstick that is almost as close to the natural colors of my lips. And with this gorgeous and sweet tasting lipstick, I will apply it on my upper lip and do it like this to make a guide in my lower lip. 
and I'm using a lip brush just to define and make a nice shape around my upper lip and as well as in my lower lip. I'm going nice and slow with this lip color because it is much harder to troubleshoot darker lip colors once it's already there and I am applying this sweet tasting lip gloss in the areas with black lipstick. Up next is putting on my wig cap, my wig, and my poor accessorization, and of course, posing. So we're basically done. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up and a comment, and subscribe if you haven't yet for more of this makeup cheese. That would be all. Stay tuned, take care, appreciate life, and what else? Oh, see you on my next video. This is Megami Tsubasa. Thank you for watching. Sayonara!